Okay, so today we are doing lesson four or six, multiplying fractions, and if you ask me, this is the easiest thing to do with fractions. There's no changing denominators, there's no worrying about the numerators, your fractions can stay as is. That is the really, really nice part about multiplying fractions, you don't have to worry about any of that, okay? So, my first um, slide, I'm just going to explain to you how this works and how uh, how multiplying fractions works. Because if I asked you how to multiply fractions, do you remember from last year? What do you do? Kaylee. Yeah, you just multiply across. Now, I'm going to show you why that works. You ready? Okay. Have you ever seen this before? You have? Anybody else? Oh, I thought I was going to do something fun. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to show you quick how it works. And the first thing I did is I drew a box. Okay. And then what I did is I took, these are my two fractions I'm going to multiply, two-thirds and three-fourths. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split my box into, two, into thirds. Do you see that? Yep. And then I'm going to color in two-thirds of that box. There it is. Okay. Do you remember this? Have you seen it before? Oh, I thought I was doing something like... Okay, anyway, first my bubble. All right, then three-fourths, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, split this into fourths the opposite way. See how I did two-thirds this way? Well, I'm going to split this into fourths the other way. One, two, it is kind of confusing, I know. Three, see how it's in fourths now? Don't even think about these lines, it's in fourths this way. And I'm going to color in three-fourths. See how I colored in three-fourths of those? Do you see that you have some boxes that have two of the colors in it? How many boxes do I have that have two colors? Six boxes. I don't know where that's going to show up. Six, and how many boxes do I have there now? Twelve? Can I reduce that? Yeah, to uh, one-half. Okay, now watch. The reason I can multiply these two numbers on the bottom is because that's how many total boxes it's going to give me inside that box. And the reason I can multiply these two top ones is that's going to tell me how many colors, how many um, boxes are going to have both colors in them. That's how multiplying fractions works. Okay? See what I'm talking about? All right, let's try another one. I'll just use the marker. Let's try another one. Okay, so one-third times one-half, and I'm going to draw out the, the box for you to show you what it looks like. Okay, so one-third... Here's my box. Okay, whoop. You know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm going to split this into thirds. I probably should just do it on my computer to make it way easier. Let's see, pen. Sure. And we'll do this one. I'm going to split it into thirds. Whoop. And whoop. So, how many thirds do I have to color in? Just the one, because that's what it tells me one third. Whoop. There it goes. Okay, so now I'm done with that one. And what do I have to split the box into now? A half. I'll use green this time. So we did this way, now we're going to do the other way. So we're going to split it like this. And how much am I going to color in? One side. Ooh. Okay, so how many total boxes do I have up there now? Six. That's like taking three times two. And how many just have both colors in it? One. One six is my answer. I just multiplied them only by using a picture. Mm -hmm. But I'm showing you why that works right now. Why does that work? Because look, if I take three times two, that gives me how many boxes there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I take one times one, that's going to tell me how many boxes have both colors in it. Cool, huh? All right, so let's keep going. Whoa, can you guys see that? So let's go back, before we do any of these, let's go back to what you remember about positive and negative. What are the rules for multiplying with positives and negatives, Cadence? Guess what? You might have some of that today. Because look at this one. I have negative 1 fifth times 7 tenths. What's my answer going to be, positive or negative? negative, and then you can go ahead and do your multiplication across. Can you reduce before you multiply? Do you guys remember how to do that, Cadence? Yep, but I don't think
think any of those really work, do they? I can't, re I can't reduce any of those. I can't. Can I reduce any of these up here? Yeah, can I reduce? I can reduce this one, right? Because I can see my four and my four. And this one? And that one. Yeah, both of them, actually. The four and the two and the three and the six. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this again because I have some kids that can't remember how to do this. So let's just talk about this one right here. Okay? Can I reduce before I multiply? Sure. What can I reduce here? Whoops. I can reduce the two and the four. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. You guys know what I mean. Two and the four, right? So what can I reduce by? I can reduce by two. So this is the part that a lot of people don't understand or they get confused about. I'm going to reduce by two. So how many times does two go into four? I'm going to cross it out and I'm going to write a two. How many times does two go into two? One. Now I can multiply across and I get two, six. Can I still reduce this though? Why? I couldn't before when I cross multiply. How can I can how come I can reduce it again now? Look at two six. Could have that been reduced beforehand? Yeah. So if you can reduce again, that's okay. It just might be that one of them could be could have been reduced beforehand. So this would be one third. Is it positive or negative? Positive, you're right, because there's not no negatives in there. All right, let's. Why don't you do this one by yourself on your paper? This one right here. Do that one by yourself on your paper. That green and that purple are kind of cool, actually. The answer, you got a question. There is. Mm -hmm. For the scientific calculators, there are a fraction. There is a fraction key. For the regular ones that you just like the, the little cheap ones, you know what I'm talking about? That just have like the basics on it, that does not. And I can show you that later, Cadence, if you want. Everybody's calculator is different, not everybody's the same. So. What would happen if I didn't reduce before I did my problem? A really big number, but then could I reduce after? And should I come up with the same answer? Yeah. Here's the thing. Always look to reduce beforehand because, it's honestly, it's going to make your life a lot easier because sometimes people get this big number and they say, well, I don't know what I can reduce by. That must be the answer. Circle it move on. And they probably could reduce it. So always look right away to see if you can reduce it, because a lot of times people forget afterwards, or, yeah, just don't do it at all. So what did you get for an answer here? What did you get for an answer, Jasmine? Five eighths, positive or negative? Negative. Is it negative? Yeah, there's a negative here. So don't forget your negative rules, okay? What if this was negative, too? Then it'd be positive. Then it would be positive questions for me so far. Is this kind of ringing a bell for you guys, like it's coming back to you a little bit? To me, this is the easiest thing to do with fractions, the easiest. Okay, so we kind of talked about this already, reducing, that's okay, we're going to skip, but we're going to go to this, multiplying mixed fractions. Um, for multiplying mixed fractions, you have to make an improper fraction. You have to, that's the only way it's going to work, okay? I can't tell you how many times I have kids see this and say, well, I'm going to multiply these two together, I'm going to multiply these two together, and I'm going to multiply these two together, and that's going to give me my answer. That doesn't work, you guys. You have to multiply the whole thing together, okay? So make it an improper fraction. So that one's going to be 13 over 4, that's a negative, times uh, negative 5 over 2, okay? So you have to make an improper fraction. Then you can multiply across, just like you've been doing. Watch your signs. 
And if you need to make it back into a mixed number, do that, please. So please make it back into a mixed number if you can. So let's see, I'm going to have 15, is this going to be 65? Is that right? 65 over 8, so that's a negative though, right? No, it's going to be a positive. You're right, very good, because they're both negative. Remember how to make this back into a mixed number? Anybody care to share? You can divide, yep, Jacob. The house, yes. 65 divided by 8, it's actually going to be 8, 64, 8 and 1 eighth. This should be your answer. Does anybody have questions on this? You have to change it to an improper fraction. That is the most important thing. And then be careful with your negative signs. Let's do a few together here. Anybody need this yet? Good? Okay, why don't you do a few of these by yourself for me? Do a few of these by yourself, uh, and we'll see how well you do. Next page. All right, you can keep going. Yeah. Some of those are going to be really big, and that's okay. be pretty big. That's all right. I probably was kind of mean on that first one. I didn't try to be, I promise. I really didn't try to be mean. <laughs> you guys want another light on back here? Too dark. No? It's good? Okay, you need to put this away. All right. Thank you. I know, I didn't mean to make it so big. I think I tried to be nice, because I was like, oh, they can cancel the three and the three, then I forgot they had to make an improper fraction. <laughs> the second one's a little nicer. It's a little nicer. Sorry, you guys, I didn't mean to make it so big. Holy moly. You probably could reduce this. Can you reduce this? You should be able to reduce that, I think. Goes in once, yeah, 16, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Then you can't reduce anything else. Ah! Don't be mad. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. When I put stuff on the board, I always try to make it so they're doable. I hope you do. Evidently, I didn't this time. I'll come up with the same answer here. Oh, oh, was it like in the thousands if you didn't reduce? Okay. Should I change it for the other class or should I leave it? <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, you're right. I'll make them do it too. This goes in four times, right? Minus 36, I get zero. I bring an eight down. Can't go into it. So 40 and eight ninths. I think 
that's what it should be in the end. But if you didn't reduce, well, you didn't reduce, it still should. No, because see how, I know, I was wondering about this, Eric. See, watch this. So if I do, it goes in 36, it goes in evenly, and I bring down a zero. And then I bring down my 8. My 9 can't go into my 8, so I have to put a 0 up there. That screws a lot of people up. Is that darn 0 when you divide? I can't tell you how many times. You guys aren't the only one. But even if you think about it, 9, it has to go in way more times than 4 to 368. And then if you can't, still can't do anything, then it becomes dip, 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 dip. the trust in your book will not be like this. Did anybody try the second? Did anybody try it? Let's see, race up here. Let's do the big one. No, when you have a whole number, what does a whole number always go on top of if you want to make it a fraction? One, always a one. Always a one. Where is an eraser here? I think you can reduce here, so don't be mad at me, because I think you can do it here. Should be able to. So this should be an 8. 24 plus 7, 31. Is that right? Oh, that's an easy one. See, I redeemed myself, you guys. redeem myself there. What? It is. But it's, if it's always on top of one, then you can just say 31. It's like a whole number. Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll just call it 31. Correct? You're right. I agree. Trust me, your book's not going to be this hard. Sorry. I always try to make it so it's somewhat easy, but I guess I failed on this one today. Okay. Uh, do you guys have any questions for me? I have any more? I have one more slide. Yeah, same. Yep, I'll take care of it. I'll get it taken care of. Let's look at your uh, books a second, okay? Let's look at your